Okay, this one here is just more Satanism coming out of the mouth of this false prophet. He is basically calling God a liar in this video. Let me play a little bit here and you'll see what I'm talking about. Those people lost their tribal identity. And in the whole New Testament, you'll only find one person, uh, the prophetess, that was there when Jesus was brought in Luke chapter 2. It says that she's of the tribe of Asher. But other than that, You'll never find any reference to people being of those tribes because over time... Really? Never find anybody being a uh, reference to anybody being of a, of a tribe? As I showed earlier. Paul writing here, I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe, tribe of Benjamin. He's a liar total liar and what he goes on to say is that the 12 tribes have been wiped out they've been intermingled there are no more you know they're that's why they're just called collectively the Jews well then God's promise is to save all of Israel the the fullness of the Gentiles become in all the promises of Re of Romans chapter 11 you know down here so all Israel shall be saved you know I guess that's uh that's uh, not going to happen now, I guess. You know, and, and he goes on to say that the the seven, or the uh, Revelation chapter seven, there the hundred forty four thousand Jews that are sealed. He tries to say that oh, that that's actually Old Testament Jews that they're in heaven, and it just, I mean, that, that I can't even fathom where this guy's coming up with this stuff. Nobody teaches this. I mean, this is absurd to the highest degree. I mean, it's it's. It is just so blasphemous and so ridiculous. He is calling God a liar. The Bible says that there will be 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes sealed in the future. This has not happened yet. They are not Old Testament Jews. Okay? Right here. All right? And this is this is stuff that's going on on the earth. These guys are not in heaven at this point in time. Later on, yeah, they're up in heaven, but right now they're still on the earth. All right, it's it's so ridiculous. You know, I mean, don't hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in our fore, in their foreheads. Well, why? If they're up in heaven, they don't need to be sealed, you know, in their forehead. It's so ridiculous. This guy, I'll tell you what, it's just he is just such a vile, foul mouthed little blasphemer.